Parenting Devotion, day number five. The title of it is The Orientation of the Home. Jesus was clear when he said that you must follow him if you want to walk in the light. Well, the opposite is also accurate. If you do not follow him, the only option is darkness. Every relational construct has followers and leaders, which begs the question, who is the head of your home? Hello everyone, this is Rick Thomas here. We are equipping Christians to help others. This is Parenting Devotion number five. The title of it is The Orientation of Your Home. Who is the leader? Jesus said this in John 8, 12, quote, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. After doing a lot of living and a good bit of failing, one thing I have learned is that my family cannot trust me to be the spiritual leader of our home. Now this truth is no secret to any of us. I have proven my inability to lead well as I have put my sin on display in our home too many times. I must acknowledge what my family already knows about me. And that's also why someone else must be in charge of our home. They need to know that someone more capable than me is spiritually leading us. Anyone that replaces Christ or anything that replaces Christ in your life or your family is idolatry. God replacements, that's what I'm talking about. And they will suck the spiritual life out of what should be a vibrant God-centered home. The first step in orienting your home to God is to speak about what needs to change. You will not be able to do this without the humbling power of the gospel working in the hearts of both parents and all the children. The two most common problems in the disoriented home are child-centered families and the passive husband. The child-centered home. Some families make their children the centerpiece of the home. Everything revolves around them. The typical mom of a child-centered home can spend 10 to 15 years in a minivan serving the activity-centered child. These kids become increasingly self-centered as life revolves around their social and activity preferences. These children rarely learn humility, respect, or submission. They typically do not love God or others more than themselves because the parents have not made those two truths a priority. And of course, there is the passive husband, another common problem in the home that is not oriented correctly. The disoriented family and the spiritually passive man do too many times go together. The stagnant male leader in the home is where the wife takes more of the spiritual leadership role while the man is preoccupied with other things that align with his self-centered preferences. Perhaps he has no template for what a male leader should be. Perhaps he doesn't value what male leadership should be. Regardless, the passive husband home is an upside-down family. If the orientation of your home centers on the wrong person or centers on incorrect things, please understand there is no way to correct the problems unless the husband and the wife are willing to talk about the disorientation. And they also need to make a practical plan to reorient their family so Christ is leading. It is not possible to speak of these things for whatever reason. And if you can't do that, if it's not possible, I appeal to you to find someone who can walk with you through the problems. The disoriented home rarely autocorrects. And if it continues, the inevitable fallout will potentially break your heart. This is uh, Parenting Devotion, day number five. The title of it is The Orientation of the Home. Here's a question for you to think about. Who would you say is the point person in your home? Who is spiritually leading your family? If the Lord is not the leader, then I want you to think through some of the reasons it might not be happening. 
here are a few things to consider if the Lord is not leading your home. Number one, do you not know what it looks like for Christ to lead the family? Number two, is the husband regularly encouraged to lead the family? Number three, is the wife willing to submit to her husband's leadership? Number four, do you have a child-centered home and don't know how to change it? And then number five, will you begin the process of talking about how everyone can submit to Christ as the spiritual leader of your home? Again, Parenting Devotion number five, the orientation of your home. Thank you so much for watching.